when your float is more or less parallel to the wall, but the front corner is just lifted. You see that? Mm -hmm. so, I'm, so the front edge is lifted so I can run in this direction. You are spreading the plaster onto the wall. If you're, front, if you're completely flat, you are attached to the wall and you will pull off as much as you put on, mm -hmm. right? So the, if the front, the front edge is the direction you're going, whoops, sorry. So if that, so picture an airplane, you're gonna land with the nose up, you're gonna stroke through, and you're gonna take off with the nose up. As parallel as you can be, but with the nose up. Make sense? Mm -hmm. If your, if your trowel is at an angle that is more than flat to the wall, like not just nose up, but nose right up, mm -hmm. you are scraping the plaster off the wall. Yeah. Not so beneficial. You pick, you pick it up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so you're making a scraper if you're like this, not plastering. <laughs> you are plastering when you're flat to the wall. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, and you can also just pick it up this way if it's too hard to hold it here. But if you've never plastered before, I would start start with it here and do the first method I showed you. All right? Okay, now one, two, three, go. Yeah? I, like, meeting the floor seems like tricky. Like, I'm not sure how we're gonna get down there. So, if this were our finished floor, it would be taped off, it would, plastic would be taped over the floor and the drop cloths would be on top of that plastic that was taped off. Yeah. yeah. Everything you don't want stone glued to is taped off and protected.